Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick um, questions and answer for the next version of Windows 10. Uh, so, of course, I posted a video where we talked about possibilities of who knows what's going to happen with you know uh, world events uh, pushing versions and things further. But a lot of you have been asking my personal opinion of what is and how uh, 2004, the next version of Windows, is going to come through. So we are today, uh, Thursday, March 19th, 2020. And the first thing is, for now, the uh, launch of Windows 10 version 2004 is still stated to be April. And um, it, I don't think this is going to move because it's pretty much done. It probably has still another or two uh, cumulative updates before it happens. But I think that's pretty much you know, uh, official that it's April. When in April, a lot of you have been saying, is it going to be end of April? Is it? Well, <clears throat> a lot of analysts are actually thinking that possibly um, Patch Tuesday of April will be the time for this to happen. So if we look at the month of April, Patch Tuesday is going to happen on... Tuesday, the 14th of April, which is almost middle of April. Um, I think that would be a pretty good day to say, well, you know what, this is where we are at and what we're going to release. One of the things also is we still need a name. There's no official name. We're still talking about 20H1. We're still talking about the version 2004. So um, we have, to, of course, the biggest thing will be when Microsoft officially says, well, this is going to be called this version. I guess April 2020 is a possibility. But, um, you know, it's uh, anyone's guess. And um, basically, these are all speculations. But a lot of people are hearing that Patch Tuesday, April 14th, 2020, could be the launch date. Once again, same rules apply. Some of you have been saying, am I going to get it the first day? Any machine that is compatible will, of course, be able to get it on the first day. What does that mean? It means that, you know, if the hardware, the software, everything on your PC, thanks to the telemetry that you send out, seems to be okay, you will be uh, getting this. But they'll probably use the same thing they were using before, meaning when it's available at first, it's going to be for seekers. Seekers are people that will go in intentionally to the Windows update and check for updates. It's going to show up as a, a optional update of a new feature update for the future of Windows. And of course, it will be Windows 10 uh, version 2004. And uh, then it's going to, at some point, when they see the rollout seems to be going well, it's going to start rolling out and uh, being uh, showing up on Windows updates of many, many machines. Some of you have been asking, um, you know, so this is not going to be forced on us. Well, not unless you are at the end of the line for the version of Windows you are actually using. One example is version 1809. You guys that are on the October 2018 update... Well, your version of Windows is expiring, I think it's in May of this uh, year. So this means you guys are being probably already being pushed anyways to a uh, new version of Windows 10, like the May 2019, uh, the November 2019 update, sorry, version 1909. But uh, if you haven't done that, you will probably be pushed to version 2004 if that has not been done yet. So everybody on the May and November 2019, uh, that's 1903-1909, will still have this as an optional update for now, as you guys still have up to the, uh, the, the May 2019 update has until the end of the year for forced updates to a new version. Remember that each version of Windows for consumer uh, lasts 18 months. That means when you get a version of Windows 10, if you've got the latest version, you've got 18 months from that point on to upgrade. So when your version is 18 months old, you need to move on or you don't have any security updates. 
Um, and last but not least, it's still the same rule. Uh, some of you out there saying, well, you know, I'm still on Windows 7, but I was waiting for 2004. Uh, some of you said they would you'd like to move on, but you'd like to move on to the new version this year. Um, yes, it's still free. If you have a valid key, if it's a valid install of Windows 7, the upgrade is free. Uh, that still works and will probably work forever. So uh, you can have a free ride to Windows 10. Um, you know, if you're waiting for that version, um, I think it's going to be important to move on as fast as possible once it's officially released. So that's pretty much uh, the questions and answer that uh, people have been asking a lot in the past few weeks. And uh, probably there's a good chance that April 14th, Patch Tuesday, will be the time when seekers start to see the uh, April 2020 update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.